Hey, this is Ish, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a color mat to your video and five different ways you can use a color mat to bring some color to your videos. Let's get started. I'm in Adobe Premiere Elements Expert Mode. So first, let me show you how to add a color mat. So you're going to go to Project Assets, Panel Options, select that. Then you're going to go to new item. Then you're going to go down to color mat. So the color picker is going to open up and the color picker lets you select different colors. So for example, you can click around here. You can go to the slider. Also, the way I like to do it is you can go in here and actually put the color code in that you want. So if there's a specific color that you want, you can go to Google cyan color code. And then right there, cyan is a bright, lively, greenish blue. It's hex code is zero zero FF. So I can go in there. I can copy that and then jump back into Premiere elements. So I got the cyan color code. That's it. So now I got cyan. I'm going to click that and boom, right there. There's the color mat. You can see it on the screen. So now I have the color mat in there. And as you can see, so it adds it right there to the video track. And then it's just like a video. You can drag it to expand it, trim it if you want to cut it up and move it around. That is how you add a color mat in there. Now, let me show you the five different ways that you can use a color mat. The first thing what you can do with a color mat is use it as a background color for your title side. So what you can do is go to text, click the fault text. I'm going to drag it down over here. Since it's cyan, I'm going to highlight all the text. I'm going to change it to black, select OK, and then I'm going to put color mat. Take it. You can just drag it right in the middle. So that's the first way to use it. Use this as a way to introduce a new scene, something different, something changing. That is the first way you can use the color mat. As you can see, I've added a new color mat and changed the color. So what else you can do with the color mat is that you can use it as a picture background. That's the second way you can use it. So I'm going to bring in this picture. I'm going to place it on top. So now I have this picture here. I want to use this as my picture background. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this one onto video track three. And then I have another picture of a woman running. I'm going to place that right about there. You move this over. And then I'm going to put this third picture. I'm going to put on video track four. It's a guy running about to finish the race. And you can go and adjust this one and line it up the way you want to. Remember the, the way the pictures are stacked, how they're going to overlap. So since this one is on three and it's above track two, it's going to be on top of that video. But this is just a cool way if you want to bring in pictures or add them to your video. You know, it kind of it can bring a different feel. Um, if you're doing a slideshow, you can have more than one picture on there. You can use keyframes, transitions to bring these pictures in in different ways. So if you wanted to do a transition, you can drag this right on that track, apply. So now when I play it, you're going to see that picture come in. That is the second way you can use the color mat as a picture background. All right, I brought in another new color as the mat. So the third way you can use the color mat is to use it as a video background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag my video to video track two. And then I'm also going to extend the color mat so it matches the length of the video. To make the color mat as a video background or a video border is you want to go here. I'm going to go to motion. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale the video down. I'm going to scale it down to about 90%. You can see it has that red border around it. Color mat is on video track one and the video is on video track two. So now if you wanted to, you could add that border to it. And then if that's too big, you can always adjust it and I can go to, let's say 98 and then you just have that smaller border around there. So whatever kind of size you want to do, or you could even go back to, let's say 90 and then you can reposition the video and let's say I put it right up there, go back to text feature, add text, drag it, control A to select all the text, just say running and then just take that down a little bit and then position it right at the bottom of the frame and this stock footage that you're looking at and the picture that I got when I used the, the pictures for running I got all of that from Canva so if you're not familiar with Canva it's this great graphics design editor it's free to use but there's also a pro license and with the pro license it allows me to get most of my stock photos and pictures so if you haven't checked it out yet I recommend you check out Canva run there run there as fast as you can Go check it out. It's a great tool. It's going to take your videos to a whole new level. All right, we're on number four. The fourth way to use a color mat is as a transition between two clips. Two clips, they're running and then they're going up on the heel. Again, both of these clips, I got them from Canva. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the color mat. I'm going to drop it right in between these two clips. So it's going to go from there 
red to there, but that's, that's not smooth enough, right? So two ways we can do this, or there's actually multiple ways we can do this. We can actually use keyframes or we can use um, a transition. First way I'll show you is with keyframes. If you aren't familiar with keyframes, I'll link to a video in the top right corner that explains how to use keyframes. It'll also be um, in the description and at the end of the video, if you want to take a look at it, grab the color mat motion. And then right here is the show high keyframe control frame. I'm going to adjust the position. So what I'm going to do with the color mat, I have this open, I have the position. I'm going to shorten this down just a little bit. So it's right over that cut there. And then I'm going to set a keyframe here in the beginning. And I'm going to set another keyframe here at the end. And then what I want is I just want this color mat to slide over. Take the color mat and I want the color mat to be off screen. So I'm sliding it so it's off screen. And then at the end, what I want is the color mat for it to be off screen. So I'm gonna drag it all the way off. So basically I want the color mat to slide across the screen. So this first one, the color mats, basically imagine it's stationed right here. And then as I'm dragging it, it's going to go all the way across. And as it's crossing the screen, then now there's somewhere else. So that's the first way to do the transition using keyframes. So I'm going to go back into motion. Say you don't want to do keyframes. It's too hard. It's, it's too complicated. Um, another way to get a very similar effect is to use slide. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this a little bit. And then what I'm, I'm going to drag this one here. I'm going to set it as one second, make it a little bit bigger there. Drag this one, set it as one second. So now, to get us very, it's going to be very similar to with keyframes. It's going to slide and then slide off. And then if you want to change the direction to match, you can go here, go to more, and then I'm going to have the direction go that way. Basically flip the directions and have click that arrow to go east to west. So very similar to what I did with keyframes using that slides. So if you don't want to use the, the keyframes you can use the slide transition or you can even go and do like the slash slide see it's going to come in that's a very cool way in my opinion let me know down in the comments what you think if it's cool or not but I think that's a cool way to switch up and take these basic transitions that they have in Adobe Premiere Elements built in and really just add some color to it and add some color to your videos the last way, which I think is the coolest, maybe I saved the best for last, is to take a color mat. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to drag it to Video Track 2. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Applied Effects. I'm going to select Opacity. I'm going to go to Blend Mode, and then I'm going to go to Color. And isn't that just so cool? So I'm going to press Play. And as you can see, it basically changes the whole color and blends it right into the video. Um, let me do another one just to show you how it looks. So I, I'm going to go in there. Let me try the red one. I'm going to go do the same thing. I'm going to go to motion. I'm going to go to opacity. I'm going to go to color. Now you, I mean, you're almost the way you look at it. It could say they're in the heat. You know, they're they're running on planet Mars. You know, that's a just a really cool effect in my opinion. And another point to make when using this is say you don't want it that deep you can change the opacity level. So that way it's not that deep of a color. So see at 100%, maybe saying that's too much, you don't like it, but maybe just a little bit, you wanna change that. You can do it right at 75. So now it's not that deep of a color. And then if you wanted to change it up even more, let me just go back to 100 for this example. So I have two different colors here. These are actually two different colors. I can actually split them. So I, I split this one. I'm going to bring this color forward. So now you can see it's going from one color mat to the next. Let me know down in the comments what you think, if you think that's cool or not. Hey, so that's five ways you can use a color mat to bring something new to your video. So I hope you run and hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below. Let me know what creative ways you plan to use a color mat because it really helps support my channel. My name's Ish and I challenge you to go out there and have a new experience today. Thanks for watching.